Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here again. We are back at Ripley's. We're going to see if we have any problems filming or anything. Or any other kind of problems. Bruno's not here with us. Just to kind of isolate that issue again. Because the problems we had, of course I called corporate. They sent us free tickets and a care package and a handwritten letter of apology and everything. So we're going to try to do this. Monkey is... Where's she at? Right here. There, Monkey. She's taking a video, doing her intro. By the way, guys, my intros are going to suck for a while because I lost everything on the computer. So I had to do a clean install on the computer, and so I lost everything. It wouldn't let me back it up or nothing, so bear with me until I can get that back. But anyway, so we're going to go in here and see what kind of weird shit we can find. So, be back with you in a minute. This is made entirely of candy. Yeah, American sweetheart. Mm -hmm. On the film. <laughs> Looks like it melted a little bit.
Dogs is proud to own and display them in over a dozen of our famous museums. Check this out guys. This is actually called a fantasy coffin. Very cool. In the capital city of Accra. Okay guys, this is a genuine shrunken head. Believe it or not, the Javaro Indians of Ecuador claim their enemies' heads as symbols of bravery and display them reduced to fist size as war trophies. This is a real shrunken head. That's an actual somebody's face. And you can see here's my fist. So to get an idea. See, I'll hold my fist up here. So you get the idea. And it's telling you how they do it up there. Which is pretty gruesome, so I'm going to stop you right here. This is an actual human skull. That is somebody's head. Yeah, you can tell it's real. First, the Javaro would slip the scalp from the top of the head. Decorated with carvings and what? Cow, cow wire? Cow wire? Shells? It's a war trophy from New Guinea. And the skin was then stretched over the end of the <laughs> Monkey is in the eye of a needle. I'm in the eye of a needle. <laughs> She's singing. Everything, even the mirrors. 
even the kickstand. Pretty cool. It's interesting. The chain is actually the pop tabs. Pretty cool, huh, guys? this is I don't know if I got this earlier or not but it's all like downhill so let's see if you can see how it looks real crooked in here and every freaking time somebody got stuck right in front of the damn camera every time see that or not, but it's, it's tilted, so it's pretty cool. camera don't do it justice probably but you get the idea oh I'll, uh, I'll throw a couple still images in so that is the tour of Ripley's believe it or not 
And every time I start filming, some idiot's got to be right behind the damn camera. Really? Hi, <laughs> right, guys. What do you think, monkey? Was that fun? Yeah, but I still like St. Augustine one better. That's what I was just telling yeah. them over there. I liked the yeah. other one better. I went two years too. ago. St. Augustine. I couldn't remember where it was. but Yeah, and it was, you know, the people were nicer. I still had the lady up here. She just didn't seem very nice. And they didn't know what to do with the tickets since we gave them to them. Yeah. They were, like, calling the manager, like, they, what they do we do with these tickets? Yeah, they had to call the manager like they were fucking fake or something. Right, right. And they was explaining what was on the ticket. They're honorary tickets. I've never heard of them. Right. And I heard him say, well, no, well, it's a good ticket. That's what. So I had to explain to her. I said to her, I said, well, this is because you guys were so rude to us when we were here the last time. She kind of looked yeah. at us kind of weird. And, and I said, you know what? Every <laughs> damn time we walk through this door, we have nothing but fucking problem with you people. Yeah, yeah. So and then she's on the phone with the no. It just looks like they're fake. I'm like motherfucker. You know what? Don't don't yeah. even try to say I'm I'm trying to fake a damn ticket to get in this. If I place. if I would come back, I wouldn't come back to the one in Orlando at all. But I would go to the one in St. Augustine. Yeah, again. I really but, would. Yeah, I had a lot and it's bigger. Fun. And it was so you'll crowded see. I was in here. yeah, I just really you know crowded. got people. Like damn near licking your ear, looking over your shoulder to see something. Um, you got kids running in front of you. Kids moving your hand off of something that you're trying to see, and it's like, who the hell are you? You know? Right, I hate right. that. But yeah, I, I wouldn't come to this one. It's mm -mm. really not worth no. the money. But mm -mm. our our tickets were free, so thank goodness. Yeah. Because I'd have been goodness. very disappointed if we did get in last time and. And, and had to pay that money. But definitely, if you want to check out the one in St. Augustine, if you ever come to Florida, that's where to go for one of these. Yeah. So this I really one, liked it a lot. That's one I wasn't impressed with. So there you go, guys. And I'm going to end you with a shot of this. Because that's where Shea Bear is going on next. That goes clear up to the top. Alright. Bye, monkey. Bye, baby. See ya. See you later, Alright. Shea Bear 1000. There we go. I don't know if you can tell how tilted the building is. But the building is awesome. It's cool. So, Shea Bear 1000. The myth. The man, the legend. Gone for now. Bye-bye, guys.